It is my pleasure uh, to represent the Bay Area Council and welcome all of you to the third annual Silicon Valley Entrepreneur Festival. And this is my third time making this speech, so I am uh, here every year because this uh, gathering is so important. Um, and for those of you who are uh, visiting Silicon Valley and the Bay Area from other places, uh, welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. Uh, I would particularly like to thank uh, Chairman Wong and the entire Han Hai Holdings uh, organization uh, for your work and support promoting innovation and uh, cross-border cooperation. Over the past three years, our organizations have collaborated closely to bring our regions together and improve all of our company's ability to succeed in, the, in this world of innovation. I also want to recognize the China-US uh, Business Council and uh, Ding Ding TV uh, for organizing uh, today's event. And I want to uh, thank uh, Consul General, Honorable Consul General Lo, for all the years of friendship uh, and work together. Um, we will miss you, uh, but uh, you, we will always be friends, and thank you for everything. Uh, over the past uh, two years, Han Hai Holdings has connected our business community to executives and government officials in China. Their team welcomed our business delegations on entrepreneurship in 2016 and on a clean technology mission with Governor Jerry Brown in 2017. Their work over this period has helped San Francisco Silicon Valley grow its presence in China and bring valuable resources to our economy. Today's event il illustrates their dedication to developing the innovation ecosystem globally, a mission shared with many of our region's leaders. I will take just a moment to provide a brief overview of the region and the organization that I represent. The Bay Area Council is the main and largest public policy advocacy group representing the San Francisco Silicon Valley Bay Area business community. Over the past 10 years, we've worked to build a bridge supporting companies from all industries to expand to markets throughout China. Our three offices in Shanghai, Nanjing, and Hangzhou enable the flow of goods and services, startups and technologies, people and ideas back and forth across the Pacific Ocean. We believe this region is intertwined with the global economy and our staff and members work to support the mutual opportunities this represents. Recent data from our internal think tank, the Bay Area Council Economic Institute, and partners at the Rhodium Institute confirm this ever important bilateral relationship. California is the number one destination for Chinese foreign direct investment in the United States, with cumulative investments of 21 billion since 2000. Our state has 530 Chinese establishments that provide 16,000 local jobs concentrated in the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles area, spread across a range of industries. In 2017, majority Chinese-owned companies in California added more than 2,000 jobs through both acquisition and greenfield investment, with the biggest operations being in ICT, health and biotech, and agriculture and food. With our very own member companies benefiting from Chinese investment like Uber, Lyft, and Airbnb. However, our nations now stand at a critical juncture in history. Our national government's rhetoric and policies are increasing the stakes of a trade war that would be devastating to the global economy. And from the ban on, on ZD to the Chinese tariff on wines and nuts, California is already getting caught in the crossfire of these decisions. Chinese FTI in the U.S. Drop, dropped by more than one-third last year, the first major correction in a decade after a record-breaking 2016. Planned greenfield projects are being delayed, and there are fewer jobs here on Chinese payrolls. But despite the increased tensions between our regions, we are confident that it is through communication, cooperation, and mutual benefit that we can resolve our differences. While real concerns do need to be addressed and negotiated, the solution lies in building bridges, not walls. Local and regional leaders on both sides understand this and continue to form partnerships to address critical issues such as IP protection, balance and reciprocity in market access, 
and compliance to WTO rules. The Palo Alto uh, Yangpu Sister City Agreement signed last March exemplifies how regional leaders can work through these issues with friendship and thoughtful negotiation. Local leaders understand thriving open, mar open markets will create opportunities for their companies and populations both in China and here in the U.S. Some positive signs have emerged, such as uh, by President Xi's recent calls for greater economic openness, including his announcement permitting foreigners to wholly own car companies in China, a good prospect for high-tech automotive companies uh, like Tesla. Ultimately, innovation thrives in the balance of open information and protective systems, empowering the creators of ideas. California and the Bay Area Council will continue to strive to achieve that balance with its partners in China. Our own governor's trip last June to the Clean Energy Ministerial and his meetings with Xi Jinping symbolized California's ability and desire to continue collaborations on issues like addressing climate change, enabling in innovative economic growth, and educating future generations. With the right conditions, both sides can benefit from an open door. It is this certainty of purpose shared by everyone here today that will make the Silicon Valley Entrepreneur Festival a success. It is a great honor to be here, and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you.